I'm here with King Bachhorn, who have sent us all here with a royal decree uh, asking where the hell everyone was and why we weren't responding <laughs> for this wonderful uh, springtime feast at noontide at a completely different locale. As you can see, there's a playground over there and traffic and whatnot. I'm your host, Matt Schwartz, and you may remember me from last year when I was clean shaven. And Here's Ben Keppel. And a margarita that, uh, ooh, it's, you know, I mean, look at it. Good? It's great. It's uh, the regular margarita? The size is, no, it's a large margarita. I know, regular. Gold, gold, gold margarita. Okay. It's and also the size of a Buick. And everyone's favorite ne'er do well, <laughs> the Jolly Earl of Cleveshire. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> I'm shocked that you actually arrived. I am too. No, I, I, I planned to come. I was supposed to come in yesterday, but I got sidetracked. Is that thing an IUV coming into your arm there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben has dragged his I, IV unit here. Yes. It's caffeine. Yes. <laughs> this will make my counter more that. fun. Look at that. Thank you. Toast to gentlemen at the, at the table. I'm not left-handed. Hang on, this is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You gotta, you gotta have some real control. To yeah, come on, this warrior. This is heavy, uh, man. A toast. Toast to us. Noble gentlemen. May our fortunes prepare. <laughs> May our fortunes improve, yes. May the feast be pleasant and bountiful. Pleasant and bountiful. Cheers. King Backhorn, um, once the uh, hordes of uh, Obama invaded D.C., uh, King Backhorn uh, the Great was sent into exile. Yes. Um, for his was a political position. Yes. <laughs> and, and apparently, when Obama is president or a king, there is no longer uh, there is no longer any good way for you to write speeches for the NEH because everything changes at the NEH politically. I don't understand that. You understand how this works? No, oh, I understand how that works, but I mean, doesn't the NEH, does their, does their mission completely change with nope. part of the party? Right, so you could have done your job. Well, but, you know, I mean, at some point there will be a new chairman. Mm -hmm. They'll want to do their own thing. They'll want to further some crazy liberal arts and then the humanities. Or, yeah, like give grants to the awful people, whatever. Crucifixes and urine. If you don't want to That's raise the NEH. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> Stories about crucifixes and urine. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Lee has been out of work since... Uh, Mid-February. Mid-February. Uh, and he has a royal family. That's support. right, yes. How's the queen? The queen is good. The queen passes along her best wishes to, to all the noble gentlemen. I haven't seen the queen in a long time, like a year, two years. It's been a while. You know, the ironic thing is, uh, Mr. Van Kempel, who lives 600 miles away, <laughs> Lee lives two miles away. I have seen Ben more over the past year than I've seen Lee. And I don't understand how this is. We're trying to maintain the royal distance. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so that our subjects may not become too familiar with the sovereign. Which would lead to, because as we know, familiarity leads to contempt. This is true. That's pretty clever, guy. That's very true. <laughs> That's a good answer. Yeah. Okay, so your, your fortunes have also fallen as well. Yes, um, on April 3rd I was uh, made redundant from my position as a journalist. And, uh, but... Uh, you know, I, just, I, I certainly like to go, but I'll say this, this whole not working thing does have been, I mean, I'm on vacation, in Washington, having fun, sure. plus I got a pretty plus, cool severance package. Plus margaritas every day for breakfast. Exactly. So, plus, uh, you know, I'm picking up shifts here and there as I can, and uh, I don't know, I, I'm picking up shifts, you mean, we're still at, working? I'm still working, I'm just, so, Technically, I'm not unemployed. I'm more underemployed. But yeah, I'm I'm good. You know, both things. Turn off on the Ides of April, just as I was about to finish my taxes and send them in for the electric carrier pigeon. That was the instrument. Yeah. I got called into the managing partner's office where he told me that, well, as you know, your hours have been very low and there's just not going to work for you. And so that's that. I was kind of prepared for it because I had overheard the partner talking, but 
I was never able to complete my taxes because I was uh, thrown that day into a fit of despair and gloom. You Wait, you haven't filed your taxes? Oh, come on. It's only a couple of weeks. <laughs> only a couple of weeks? Dude, you, no, this whole thing about you are in penalty range. Oh, <laughs> have you ever researched what these penalties are? It's not that much. First of all, the federal government owes me. So I don't really, that's fine, you know. They owe me $400. The only not one anymore, they don't. You don't. They don't. <laughs> penalties. Yeah, but they owe you less. So they owe me three anyway. I don't care. DC, I owe DC a little bit of money, but Virginia owes me a lot of money, so I just gotta do the math. Right? Uh, yeah, that's... Listen, it's, it's not even May yet. I'm fine. It's not my fault. <laughs> So what's next? I don't know. Next is Gripe. Gripe. Well, uh, I've, uh, as everyone knows, I moved to Richmond, Virginia in June of 07 to begin my contract. Has it been that long? Yes, to begin my contract job that, uh, with a law firm that is doing documents that extended for uh, two years now almost. And um, I'm, still, I'm still employed. My contract is still, you know, there. But we don't get the hours we used to. We used to get, like, lots of overtime. I'm capped at eight-hour days now. Every now and then they sort of, like, run out of work for a few days and say, well, Dave, everybody go home until next week because we don't have any work for you right now. So so it's not what it used to be. I don't make the kind of money that I did before. I don't know what I'm going to pull. Last year I pulled in 60. I'll probably pull in, you know, 50 to 45 this year. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. Well, 45 more than any of us. I just want to point out, have you, noticed, have you guys noticed that it's the 70s all over again? I mean, I, oh, the, yeah. I was listening to the news a, co uh, a couple days ago and I was in, you know, some rest off. And they were referring to swine flu. Swine flu, for God's sake. Did we have that in the 70s? Yeah, go look it up. Anyway, you know, so now that you have swine flu, I'm out of work, Matt's out of work, Lee's out of work. You know, have the people on your own work, you know. The only thing we're missing is stagflation. <laughs> Why is it stagflation and some weird disease come up with, at, at every outing? Any worm was the last yeah, one that been worms, out Swine flu and stagflation, which could come if oil prices head up again. So I just, had, I just had to point this out that we're in some kind of weird time warp type of situation where, you know, we thought we got past the 70s, but they're back here and haunting us. Well, Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't expensive. Here you go. Uh, yeah, right? How much were those things? Hey, you, you, well, you got the gold. Too. You got to get a montage of us uh, <laughs> passing the door. <laughs> wow. Three super golds. Forty-one eighty-five. What? What? Forty-one eighty-five. Uh, that sounds about right. Fourteen dollars. Did you look at the size of it? Well, you got the the gold. That was one problem. Well, well I didn't order the. Well, oh, how many ounces were those? Twenty-three. Man? Not enough. <laughs> I'll finish mine now that I know what I paid for it. Or rather, what Gripe pays for. Wait, that's what? Like, that's like $14 for one of those things. Here we go. Here you go, Matt. Enjoy. Thank you for picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of us currently has a job? Uh, yeah, every day. Yeah. 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 Hours cut. Oh, like is feeding the child, child support. Right, how many, <laughs> child, oh, boy. Alimony. Times are lean right now. I may be jobless, I may be girlless, but at least I have my dignity. Uh, I just like to add, you know, as, as a famous philosopher once said, you know, you got no money and you got no car and you got no woman, and there you are. Who's pointing it out? Who's Tone Loke? Very, you know, very uh, important man. I have, a, I have a car, Mr. Keppel. Ah, uh, how the off-laid plans of mice and men often go awry. <laughs> this is inappropriate. I don't know. So that means you have no idea. Uh, exactly. I was just about it has just come to light <laughs> that of my three compatriots, I have the longest life expectancy <laughs> among them all. Because 
Mr. Geip is 31, mm -hmm. and given his dimensions, shall be gone within the next decade. Lee is 32. I will be I will be 33 in June. How old are you now? I'm 32. Okay. Lee is 32. Given his dimensions, he'll be with us for another 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a physical. My cholesterol was 146. I'm gonna be. Oh. Wow. Good for you. What was your good cholesterol? It's always been a little low. Uh oh. But, but I'm and we're here with Ben Keppel, who is 33. Yes. And given his dimensions, we'll be with us for another 40 years. Keep going up. No, no, no. <laughs> That's about it. Given my dimensions and uh, family background, I'll be around hopefully for another uh, uh, 50, 50 or 60, 55 to 60 years probably. Yeah, Matt is the youngest among us. It's 29. I haven't yet. We can, as we can, as you can tell from the view, you viewers at home. You can yeah. tell. So I've still got plenty of time to remake my life and my own image. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, everybody. King Bachorn in exile has declared that the royal feast of 2009 has ended. We'll see you next year. Yes, yes. Uh, see everyone next year for yet more weekly events. <laughs> Join us next year. The beard may once again be gone. And Ben, are you going to grow your beard back? No. Ben will not have a beard. And hopefully at that point, in a year from now, all of our fortunes of the royal treasury and all of its uh, uh, royal subjects of the realm will be much buoyed. Otherwise, it will be... McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, there's nothing wrong with McDonald's. Yeah, sure. <laughs> McDouble, two apple pies for a dollar. Yeah. Lee and I can fight over the apple pies. <laughs> <laughs>